In uh, 2006, I was working um, at a not-for-profit organization, and I went for a routine um, checkup, so an ordinary annual checkup. And at the time, my doctor discovered that my thyroid numbers were very high and completely out of balance. And he recommended that I go see an endocrinologist, which I did. So I had um, put on a lot of weight. I was, it was difficult to get up in the morning. My hair was getting dry and kind of falling out. Um, and I just overall wasn't feeling well. Slow, sluggish, hard to concentrate. And the endocrinologist um, told me um, I had hyperthyroid thyroidism. However, I was having a lot of symptoms of hypo. And he said that um, the medication he was going to give me had some radioactive element. It was going to kill my thyroid and I would be on medication for the rest of my life. Oh, and by the way, there are consequences to this medication. It will need readjustment. There might be more weight gain. There might be less weight gain. But they were still, uh, it, would, it would require a lot. And um, and I really did not want to go on medication. And I'd asked him if there were any alternatives. And he basically said there were 50% of endocrinologists would start me immediately. And another 50% would say, let's wait and uh, see if I could find some kind of alternative. So I asked him if I could, um, like, could I do some, could I have some time and see if I could find an alternative? And he told me um, to come back within three months, but he would have preferred I just take the medication. And within that period of time, I um, happened to see that Dr. Furman was giving a lecture on cholesterol at a um, really small organization in New York. And at the end of the lecture, he was generously um, available for questions for people who are having other problems. And he referred me to one of his position papers, at which point he told me I had an autoimmune condition because I did not even know that this was autoimmune related. And I had never heard that it related to the food that I was eating, which was shocking. The, the following day, I called in sick to work, and I read his book all day. The next day, I cleaned out my kitchen, called in work sick, and I called in work a third day. Um, and I went to the supermarket, and I started chopping vegetables. And uh, by the time I went back to the endocrinologist, my thyroid numbers were normal. Within six weeks of going on the plant-based diet, I'd lost 27 pounds. My skin looked better. My hair was improving. Um, and my thyroid numbers were back to normal. Hi, my name is Wendy. I suffered from hyperthyroidism unknowingly for many years. I discovered a plant-based diet, and within six weeks, my blood work and my thyroid numbers were back to normal.